this is Marky and this will be a three-part video review for hair transplant. The first part will be about the hair transplant itself, the experience, and then a one-year progress. The second part is a 2.5-year progress after the transplant. So the transplant was done in 2021 and then now it's 2024 so I will show you. And then the third part will be about Sebderm. Kasi madami nagtatanong kung pwede ba magpa-transplant na mayroong seborrheic dermatitis. And actually, yes, pwede. I do have seborrheic dermatitis and pwede rin siya i-manage with certain products lang para ma-minimize. It's been approximately 14 months since I had the procedure last September 2021. So here's my hair at 14th month mark. I'm quite happy with the result. It is the density that I really wanted. If you're here to know what clinic I had it done, it's in Pineda Hair Clinic in Makati, Metro Manila. So hair transplant today has two current popular methods, FUT and FUE. FUT is the oldest method but it is also the most efficient in terms of graft cost ratio because you're able to harvest more grafts. At the same time, it's the most affordable. People on the internet will warn you about FUT because they will say that it will have the most scarring. But when I talk to Doc Pineda, he has a work around this using a new method of stitching, the trichophyte closure. The end result is more clean and the scar is it's not really obvious at all. The next one is FUE. This will involve using a pen-like device so the harvesting of grafts will be done in a more dispersed fashion. There will be no linear scar, more like dots on where the hair were transplanted from. I consulted a lot of clinics here in the Philippines and most of them advised me around 2,000 grafts. Among all the clinics, I picked Pineda Hair Clinic because number one, they were very responsive pre, during, even post-procedure and even up until a year later. Number two, the cost is a lot friendlier than other clinics. Number three, the doctor-patient experience is more personal and case-to-case -case basis. They evaluate you based on several factors and then recommend the best option for you. In my case, they recommended me FUT because I have many hair grafts that need to be covered. They didn't have to convince me the more expensive option unlike other clinics. And now, it's 2024. Naglalagay rin ako ng topical finasteride and minoxidil to maintain the volume as much as possible. So, ayan na siya. Ayan. <clears throat> Basically, natural looking pa rin talaga. Sa likod naman, Hindi rin halata yung scarring niya. So, wala ding nasira or nalaglag na hair sa likod kahit doon galing ang mga grafts. So, today is actually a few days after the haircut. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko kung kamusta na siya. So, I will show you again quickly. 
this is actually the part na pinakamanipis sa akin but they were able to cover it well naman and disperse them well para natural looking pa din yung pinaka problem ko lang is the middle the crown this part is really just the original density so ngayon nagme-maintain lang ako with finasteride topical and minoxidil and i hope magla-last siya for a longer time Akala ko baka hindi possible mag-transplant kung meron kang malalang dandruff issue, pero hindi pala. For this type of dermatitis, it is important to eliminate the root cause of this, which is the fungi. Sige na nakausap sila doc about this kasi based on personal research ko na lang to. They say that it is important to use a uh, different product. Sometimes the fungi is able to adapt to the ingredient that you're using. There are five ingredients that I will recommend. The first ingredient that I recommend is salicylic acid. And another one that I, I can recommend is the zinc pyrethione. Next one is the ketoconazole shampoo. Another shampoo that I use is the selenium sulfide. Chaka lastly, urea is not necessarily anti-dandruff but it is a very moisturizing ingredient na naglalasa ng inflammation din sa scalp ko so never na siya naging reddish so that's it i hope i was able to give you an insight about hair transplant kung meron pa kayong tanong just let me know in the comments below thanks for watching